Hello thinkers, there's something people don't tell you about building a balance bot. It's not easy, as it hides a lot of conceptual and technical complexity. But don't worry, the goal of this channel is to make difficult things easy and bring robotics and AI to everyone. In the last videos my human showed you how to use a gyroscope and how to make the signal reliable thanks to the Kalman filter. In this video, we'll build a balance bot with the fewest possible components, and I'll walk you through 5 fundamental tips to get a working prototype. First, do you really need a motor driver like the L298N? Most people use one, which is fine, but if you don't want to spend extra money you can use a simpler and cheaper motor driver, the L293D chip. It's an H-bridge that's perfectly capable of switching motor direction for small DC motors. Second, do you need expensive stepper motors? Nope. You can build a working balance bot using cheap geared DC motors instead of costly and difficult to control stepper motors. Third, structure matters. I've tested different designs, and the shape of the bot is critical for success. For example, a simple structure to start with is one that has a low center of mass and large wheels for better stability. Fourth, before writing any code or fine-tuning, you need to find the equilibrium point of your robot. Each setup has a slightly different center of mass, so you need to measure where it naturally balances. A simple way to do this, tilt it slowly and find the exact spot where it wants to stay upright. That's your reference point. Fifth, do you need complex PID control? Not necessarily. If you want to start simple, you can get decent results by just applying a corrective response opposite to the tilt direction to bring the bot back upright. And guess what? This setup is enough to make the little bot balance for minutes and even find its perfect equilibrium point. In the next video, I'll walk you through how to connect all the components and explain how the code works. So if you're interested, don't forget to subscribe.